Oi, Luiz. Hey, Brian. Oi, Gil. <risos> Oi, Brian. Hello. Hey, Brian. What's up? <risos> How's it going, Brian? Good. How are you guys? Good. Thank you. Well, thanks for, 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 for being here with us. Yes, ao vivo. <laughs> ao vivo. Uh, guys, uh, Brian knows, uh, he knows some words in Portuguese. Y you have already studied Portuguese, right, Brian? Yeah, I, I studied Portuguese in Brazil. Uh -huh. How long, how long, how long do you study English here? You, how long did I study Portuguese there? I studied Portuguese yeah. for about a year. A year, yeah. So, can, can you say that you know lots of words in Portuguese? <laughs> I know some words, but I know how to understand it better than I can speak it. <laughs> right. Do you have any favorite Portuguese word that you, you that you always use, like in your, in your always, days? You know my. I, you might you might know my favorite is J Lo because I love J Lo. Love <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that yeah. J Lo. J Lo is the first word I probably learned uh, in Portuguese <laughs> because Bryant loves. Jello or ice, right? <laughs> yeah. And, and 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 Jennifer Lopez, but yeah, I mean, in Brazil, <laughs> when you're in Brazil, you have to ask for ice. So I learned mm -hmm. uh, com jello uh, quickly. <laughs> right. I'm sorry about the phone. The camera Luigi is here and he's destroying my phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Brian, uh, you are American and you, and you live in Orlando, right? Yes, Orlando. Mm -hmm. But you were not born yet. Where no, were you born? I was born in California. I was born and raised in California, and uh, but I've spent most of my adult life here in in Florida, in Orlando. So, okay. and why did you decide? Mm -hmm. uh, why did you decide to go to Florida, Orlando? Why? Why? <laughs> you could go to New York or California. I don't know, Boston, Washington. Why Orlando? Because of Disney World? Yes, because of Disney. Really? So I worked for Disney for uh, seven years, and mm. um, that's how I met you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disney makes stories, good stories. Yeah. Yeah. Disney, uh, con Disney connects people. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, Brian and I, we worked for Disney. Uh, how long have you worked for Disney? I worked. Uh, I worked. I worked for Disney for seven years. So wow. seven. What? What did you used to do there? I mean, what I was your at, role? Yeah, I worked at Magic Kingdom. I worked at the mm -hmm. Polynesian Resort, which is across from uh, Magic Kingdom. I worked in uh, positions in offices, and uh, yeah, I uh, I was around, and it, uh, mm -hmm. I got to know all of Walt Disney World, and it was uh, it was a great time. Wow! Nice. And now you are not working for Disney anymore. No, I'm not working for Disney. I'm working for um, a real estate company uh, in marketing. Marketing, yes. Yes. So, so, uh, and which place do you prefer, you know, like, uh, where do you prefer to work in Disney or in this current job? I, I prefer my current job now, uh, but I go to Disney all the time because I have an annual pass, so I'm always uh, at Disney. But uh, Disney was a lot of fun, and maybe someday I'll go back, but for right now, I'm extremely happy where I'm at. Wow, this is nice. Because as you guys can see, uh, in, in his weekend, Brian goes to Disney, you know, he has an ice cream looking, to, uh, looking at, to, at the... Uh, Cinderella's Castle, in front of Cinderella's Castle. And here in Brazil, what do we do on the weekends? We go to the movies. <laughs> so boring. Shopping. Square. <laughs> shopping. And Brian, Brian goes to Disney. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's my normal life. That's normal life. Oh, uh, normal life. Okay, Brian. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Guys, if you have any questions to Brian, okay, so please, you can write down here. Uh, you, you, if you don't know how to write them in English, don't worry. I translate to Brian, okay? You guys can ask and, me in Portuguese, and, uh, too. Send hearts. Send lots of hearts, right, in June? Yeah, lots of hearts. Exactly. <laughs> tap, tap, tap in the, in the tap, heart. Tap, that's tap, right, tap. that's right. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. 
Okay. Oh, here we have a con uh, uh, Brian. We love you. That's uh, Lee Balmeda, twenty-three. Oh wow, we we love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian. Uh, when you were in Brazil, uh, what? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Alini, she has a good question here. Uh, okay. She said to tell them uh, how we met. How we met. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh huh. We met. Five, ten years ago, ten years we ago, met, we met in two thousand and seven, two thousand eight, two thousand eight. Eight. We met yes. In yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, ten years ago, so I was working with uh, one of our mutual friends uh, in Brazil. He was working with me at the Polynesian, and I met him, and he introduced me to Alini, and uh, Alini introduced me to you. So. I uh, have a network now of Brazilian friends, and that's one of the reasons why I live there for, I live in Brazil for a year. Yeah. Uh, Alini, she was my girlfriend. Girlfriend, now she's my wife. Uh, and, and guys, uh, it, it, do we have any student here, like from my, from my course? Yes or no? Well, you, you, you guys can write yes or no. Brian is the voice actor. <laughs> He's the voice actor of our course. Uh, his voice is in my course. Yes. Uh, so we have a you, character. If you uh -huh. have not, if you have not purchased the course, make sure you purchase the course so you can hear my voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing of purchasing the, best, the, the course. Best thing. The best of course. Thing. <laughs> you guys can. You guys can listen to his voice all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian, Brian, uh, uh, this, uh, we, we have this pleasure to have Brian's voice with us in our course because uh, he's a native American speaker, English speaker, and uh, we want to make sure that you guys have the best uh, pronunciation, the best uh, the closest of, you can, we can say American dialogue, American conversation with uh, words and expressions that they really use it. They are, I, I like the question that enough. Mark, did you see the question that Marcos sent? Uh, Marcos Guilherme? <laughs> yeah. Who was the airplane's inventor? <laughs> 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 we were talking about this last week or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we talked. I know. I've talked about it before with you, maybe several times. Uh -huh. So, U.S. or Brazil, which which one? Well, here in Brazil, we say that Santos Santos Dumont has right. you know invented the uh, airplane, uh, <laughs> but it, th that that's not how. What? No, go ahead, go ahead. But this is not what you guys. Uh, think in USA, right? We we say the Wright brothers uh, invented flight. Mm -hmm. Do all Americans believe in the story? <laughs> <laughs> of course, nobody thinks that Brazil. Nobody knows that Brazil thinks that uh, yeah. they invented flight. So nobody knows since Dumont in the US. No. no. Whoa! My goodness! You see, guys. They are stealing our invention. <laughs> <laughs> there is another question here. Uh, Riffly Paki, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Brian is not engaged. He, are you engaged? No. no. Okay. So Brian's single, guys. Okay. You so you you would, you would know that. You would know if I was. <laughs> I know. I just went to. I went. To, I just went to hear from you. <laughs> so, guys, add Brian. Okay, follow him on Instagram and text him if you want to 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 have a relationship with him. Calma, he's calma. he's available. Okay. Calma. <laughs> calma. <laughs> okay. Some people are saying, uh, Bra uh, Britain, British English is great." Davison said, British English is great. Brian, uh, when you are talking to a guy from England, can you understand him like very well? Like, what are the dif differences between American English and British English in your point of view? 
Well, there's a uh, big difference is pronunciation, and sometimes they use words that uh, are different or that we don't really use commonly here, so it's sometimes difficult. So, mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, I can understand. But there's sometimes that they speak very fast. Happy though, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So wow. Because I, I received many questions like this, like, teacher, what are the differences between, you know, British and American English? Are they the same thing? Uh, no, they're, like, they're uh, different. You can, no. you, can tell, you can tell when somebody has learned British English or if they learned uh, American. Oh, now it's back. You're back. You're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, in Brazil, we have so many different, you know, accents in Portuguese. Mm -hmm. uh, people from Rio de Janeiro, they speak differently of, you know, the right. Brazilians from Bahia. Yeah. The, how, is, how is that in the U.S.? Do people from New York speak different of people from Orlando or California? How, how do you see that? Yeah, so every every kind of region has a different, a little bit of different of the accent. So if you're in the South, like Georgia and Alabama, uh, Louisiana, they're going to have different than New York. And New York mm -hmm. is a little bit different from Boston, even though they're very close. There's differences, and then you know there's mm -hmm. differences in the Midwest, and then uh, there's differences in California. Mm -hmm. Is that any word that you guys in the U.S. make fun? of, uh, you know, as a uh, specific place? Like, so, oh, so you, you said this word? Oh, so you're from this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up north, they might say coffee for coffee. They might say coffee. 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 They start with a C, but it's coffee. Oh, coffee. For, cof co for coffee. Coffee. Who, who, who says this? Uh, people up north. Yeah. North. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. 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 So uh, I would like to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. It's it, the the whole accent it would be, you know, the whole sentence would sound a little bit different up north. But that's one word. Uh huh. That I oh, can think of just one example in my head. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. I think we have more questions here. Uh, they're saying, "Hey, keep talking English." Yes. Uh, Cassio, Cassio underline Marcel 82. Brian, what is the most difficult to understand a Brazilian speaking English? Mm. Uh, I think he, mm -hmm. you got a question? Yeah, I have a question. What is the most mm -hmm. difficult to understand in Brazilian? Uh, I'm not sure about what the most difficult because I have so much experience now listening to uh, uh, Brazilians speak English. My ear is adjusted to it, so uh, it's <laughs> not it's not as difficult anymore because I understand what you know, what they're trying to get across. So there's nothing too, there's nothing too difficult. Um, there's just sometimes when I'll correct English, but it, I, I generally understand everything when, an, when a Brazilian is speaking English, generally. Mm -hmm. uh, especially, uh, this is something that Brian corrects me sometimes when we are talking, the pronunciation of the ED in the end of the, the verbs in the past. Yeah. <laughs> like work worked not workage yeah. or yeah, workage, work right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It you just listen takes, to it, it like it takes practice. Uh -huh. But but uh, from Brazilians, it's really uh, common this kind of. Yes. We wouldn't say mistake, but this kind of pronunciation, right? Yes. So it would be very common for uh, for them to speak it a certain way and all have the same way they pronounce it, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you you live in Orlando. That's a, a touristic place, tourist city. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many Brazilians there on vacation, you know, all the time. Uh, all the time. Could you... Can you recognize when a guy or a family, uh, could you recognize a Brazilian when you yeah. are walking on streets or at the stores? 
Sure, Ow. yeah. Even before, even before they talk, even before they talk. Uh, really? The shoes, uh, the, the type of shoes they wear, <laughs> the brands of clothes they wear, uh, <laughs> the hair, hair, hairstyle. Hairstyle. Yeah. Wow. And, and when they are shopping, they are always caring. They're always Brazilian. Yes, they're, they're always Brazilian if they're shopping. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, we love shopping, especially in the U.S. Just, yes. There are families that they go to us just for shopping. Yes, only there. <laughs> uh, do you like shopping like Brazilians do? Not as much. <laughs> because because I grew up you know you grow up here and it's you know we always had good shopping so shopping mm -hmm. here shopping here is much different than shopping in Brazil mm -hmm. yes because here in Brazil we, we we don't have so many products with good quality or you know and when we do the prices are so so high and, and it's almost impossible for you know for us like an iPhone uh, X or iPhone 10 here in Brazil, it's, the price is about 7,000 reais. It, yeah, it's like more. two, uh, it, yeah, it's like two thousand and a half dollars, twenty five hundred dollars. It's really expensive, and yep. you can buy a ticket to 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 Orlando and get the phone, buy the phone, and come back to Brazil, and you still have money left, you know, with this seven thousand exactly. reais. Exactly. Exactly. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, Grazi underline ISO. She said, uh, "Why Brazilians seem uh, strange ones?" <laughs> ask, ask, ask our culture. <laughs> no, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think the Brazilians are strange. I think there's just cultural differences. That's all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's just well, it's, it's easy. It's easy to it's easy to spot a Brazilian, and it's okay. Uh -huh. uh, we're talking about easy. culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, go okay, ahead. talking about culture, uh, we can talk about music. Mm -hmm. I just love uh, songs from from US. Like my favorite band bands are from from United States: like Guns N' Roses, Hanson. Uh, it, what? Hanson again <laughs> and Hanson <laughs> one more time. Aerosmith. <laughs> how, how many? I love how them. Many, how many times have you seen him? How many times have you seen Hanson now? Hanson in person. Mm. Oh, in person. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, go, going to their concerts. That's what. Yes. It is? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, about six, seven concerts. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well. Around six, seven concerts. Yeah, uh, well, back to the islands, I watch it like five concerts. So, I, For me, no, 11, 11, 11, 11. 11 times? Yes, 11 times. Not and bad, you right? Spend, you're right, and you spend all, an entire weekend with them, so. Exactly, yeah. What about Brazilian music? Which artists do you know? Which songs do you like from Brazil? Uh, uh, songs, uh, I won't get specific on songs, but I know Ivechi, Sangalo. Um, Ivechi. An An Anita, of course. Anita. Anita's uh -huh. become, becoming very famous here, too. So Really? Yeah. She has, Eng she has, uh, she has an English uh, dance, English mm -hmm. song. I forget what it's called. Uh, she has an mm -hmm. English song now. So she's becoming more popular here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you know any rock bands from Brazil? Um, no, no, I don't know any rock bands. No, I don't, yeah, I don't know. We, we used to have great bands. Well, actually we do, but people here, they just listen to Anita songs and Yvette songs. It's kind of, we, we call it funky, funky. Right, funky. Yeah, and and girls I wearing know. mini shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, Sandy and Junior. Sandy and Junior. Oh, Brad knows Sandy Junior. Nice. <laughs> Aline's so happy. <laughs> you know them because of Aline, right? I, I only know them because... 
<laughs> I only know them because of uh, Alini. And let's see, uh, someone asked someone asked if I know Ivechi Sangalo, and uh, I already mm -hmm. said yes, I know Ivechi. Yes, yes. And do you know Mamona's Assassinas? Mm, I might have heard songs, but I don't know the name. Yeah, it's it's that band that all the members they died in the air, air uh, an accident, an airplane oh, okay. accident. Do you know this story? When was that? When did that happen? Uh, like 10 years, 12 years ago, I'm gonna say. 20, 20 years ago. Oh my God, I'm getting 20. old. 20 years ago. I see, uh, I see Stephanie and her favorite, she's, do you see Stephanie's comment with her favorite Brazilian word, pochete? <laughs> <laughs> pochete, Stephanie's favorite <laughs> band? That we said. No, his, her favorite word, her favorite word. Oh, her favorite word. <laughs> For Pochechi. I have to explain them uh, this to 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 oh, our our learners here. You uh, can Stephanie explain it in Portuguese. You can explain okay, Portuguese. I'll explain. Okay, pessoal, vou explicar essa história aqui da Pochechi que é muito engraçado. Eu vou falar em português aqui, tá bom? A gente tem uma amiga aqui na no bate papo que o nome dela é Stephanie. Ela também é americana e mora em Orlando. E quando a gente estava aí em Orlando ela viu pochetes, lembra da pochete que ele sinta com, né, com bolsa? E ela falava assim, nossa, isso é muito ridículo, isso é feio, não sei o quê. Como é que se chama essa, esse acessório em português? A gente falou, ah, é pochete. A pochete, ela falou, nossa, que nome engraçado. I love pochete. <risos> e ficou falando, I love pochete, pochete. So, e a palavra não saiu da cabeça dela. And, Go ahead. And what's the word, what's the word in English? The word in English for word? pochete. I don't know. I don't have an idea. Do you uh, know any? Well, for... Yes. How, how can I say pochete in English? <laughs> so the pochete that you wear, physically you wear on your waist, it's called a, a fanny mm -hmm. pack. Fanny pack. Fanny pack. Yeah, Stephanie, fanny pack. Stephanie. Yeah, yeah, yes. I was going to say Stephanie should write it out. She wrote it out. It's Fanny Pack. Oh, yeah, yeah. She wrote it. Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack. Okay. So, guys, if you want to uh, buy any <laughs> last, the latest fashion accessory, <laughs> buy a Fanny Pack. <laughs> well, now, now the Fanny Pack here in the U.S. is back in style. Really? Yeah. It's in, it's who in, who it's wears in it? Uh, people. Like in, boys and girls? Yeah, it's in fashion now. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> From it, they, 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 they have like many colors, styles, sizes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> Luigi, I'm going to buy one. I'm going to buy you one, okay? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Okay, more questions, guys. More questions. Oh, Brian was my best man. In my in my when I get married, when I got married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was how was the experience, Brian, being the best man of junior? It was one. It was wonderful. It was a beautiful <laughs> wedding. In yes. a beautiful wedding in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> But we had we had that kind of. American style wedding, right? Yeah, it was American style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. There, was, nice. there was not much difference. There wasn't much differences. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, there's more questions. I think Amanda. Oh, Amanda, asked, uh, have you ever tried Brazilian food? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, of course. Because I lived in Brazil for a year, Amanda. So yes, I tried Brazilian food. Which so. food did you like most? Uh, well. <laughs> Brazilian food, I mean, I like feijoada, but not every day. Feijoada is mm -hmm. too heavy for everyday food. Heavy, I like too heavy. Alini, Alini's mom. Uh, that's the best. Uh, let's see, Angel uh, said coxinha, and coxinha is one of my favorites. Coxinha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every <laughs> time, uh, by the way, Brian, every time we eat coxinha here in Brazil, we remember you. Oh, good. We say, oh, that's Brian that's loves good. coxinha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love pushing. What else? Uh, what what about our pizza? 
Uh, my oh, I love Brazilian pizza, Sampa pizza. Sampa pizza. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, comparing to American pizza, it, it's uh, they are very different, different, right? It's very it's very different. In the uh, U.S., we use a lot of red sauce, uh, tomato mm-hmm. sauce on our pizza. Uh, where in Brazil, there's not as much tomato sauce on the pizza. It's just it's different. It's hard to describe how different it is. Um, yeah. Let's see, Angel. Uh, she said brigadeiro. Yes, I like brigadeiro. brigadeiro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the best candy we have. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's I like brownie. American American brownie. It's awesome. I like mm-hmm. it so much. And the American popcorn. What what was it? What is it called? That popcorn that I like so much. You I like forgot the name. the kettle? It's kettle cooked. It's kettle popcorn. Kettle cooked. Yeah, kettle. We don't have this popcorn. in Brazil. No. I love every, every time I go to the U.S. Brian buys like two, three packets from, for me. Like from uh, it's from a store called we have. It's a grocery store we have here called uh, Trader Joe's. That's where they sell that specific. Trader, 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 Trader. Uh huh. Joe's. I'll type it. Okay, yeah, Trader. Stephanie, oh yeah, Stephanie Trader. Stephanie said it's. Uh, Stephanie said sweet and salty. Sweet, sweet and salty, which is what it is. It's sweet and salty. Uh, oh yeah. And salty. Sweet and salty, yeah. I typed in okay, I typed cheap. in the name of the store. Okay, Trader is Joe's. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Another question here. Uh, Yoko here Yoko Hirata, cheese bread. Cheese bread, pound de queijo. Pound de queijo, yes, of course. Yes. Uh-huh. Erika uh, uh, Somebody's Erica asking asked. about somebody's uh, asking about the, my flag. Your flag? Oh, yeah, the British flag. Okay, so talk about I'm, it. I'm not from the UK, but my sister's husband's mother. Wow. Lived... <laughs> <laughs> she lived... Wow. <laughs> she lives in the UK and she gave it to me. So I have my in-laws live in the UK. So that's nice. why I have it there. Which part from UK? I have. I don't know. You know, idea. <laughs> they are there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> there somewhere. <laughs> oh, uh, Patricia! Patricia said, "I live here. You live oh, in nice. UK, Patricia." Oh, I that, think she. Means, yeah, I think yeah, she, she, she lives in the UK. Uh huh. Nice. I've never been there. I would like to to travel to to England. You know, Ireland. You know this. this yes, this me too. Part. Me too. Uh, Erica asked. Have you ever traveled around Brazil? What is your favorite city? Um, I have. Uh, I lived in Sao Paulo for a year. So I love living in Sao Paulo, but I also love to visit Rio. Rio is beautiful. Mm-hmm. I've been to Rio yeah. twice. Uh, Brian was with me in Rio once. We were uh, we watched the, the, the soccer match. Orlando City mm-hmm. versus uh, Flamengo. Right. Yeah. And that was fun. Uh, I was the, I was the was only gringo. Fun. I was the only gringo there. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and soccer in in Orlando specifically is mm-hmm. is, is big now, right? Comparing yes, to it's, it's big ago. now. It's big now. Lots of in, investing in soccer here, and we have a big, nice stadium. So it's mm-hmm. a great place to come and watch soccer here in Orlando. Mm-hmm. So. It's, it's awesome. I haven't but, I haven't been to the new stadium, but you and I have been to a game together at the old stadium. But now they have mm-hmm. a new stadium. So when you come next time, right. we have to go to the stadium. Oh, definitely, definitely. I wanna I wanna go there. Uh, and but but the the most important sport in in US it's not soccer, right? W- what is it? Well, it's between uh, American football and uh, basketball. Those are the two most popular. But they are not they are not happening like at, at the same season or like No, so ba- uh, basketball is happening now. Yeah, basketball is happening now. But I don't follow sports, mm-hmm. but basketball is happening now and football happens um in our fall or your spring. So this it is... happens in September. It starts right, Stephanie. It starts in September. Stephanie knows when it starts, but I think it starts end of September, October. Stephanie will type okay. over when it starts. Yeah, but she she loves American football. Yeah. She loves American football. 
because here in Brazil, we have soccer, like, from January until December, like, all all weeks, all months, all, all the year, you know? Yes. In U.S., you guys, like, share, you split. There yes. is a season of we, basketball. We split. Mm -hmm. And it helps. So awesome. It's probably one of the reasons why it, it helps uh, each sport have its chance to get the most, uh, you know, viewership. Because if basketball was competing against football, there would be um, there would be Compe more competition, competition for people to watch. Uh, they'd have to choose what to watch, but uh, there's less of a choice when they have their own uh, specific times of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, but like here in Brazil, all the kids they want to to be a soccer player when you know kids their dreams. Mm -hmm. Right in U.S., kids American kids, what what? How is that? Would they I like think to be we have, basketball we players or choices. yeah yeah. There's more choices, so it, the answer will d be different for each you know each person. If they're interested mm -hmm. in sports, if they're interested in sports, then it's going to be different for each person, whether it's football, baseball, mm -hmm. uh, basketball. Yeah. Right. Talking about it, talking about this, I remember the cheerleaders, 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 cheerleaders. Yes. And we watch movies here that they show cheerleaders like the most popular girls Uh, mm -hmm. out of school, they date right. uh, handsome the guys, mm -hmm. the football players, yes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and also the the bullying, all that stuff. You know, Th does it really happen in American in schools, or the movies are just, you know, crazy? <laughs> <laughs> they invent those no, stories. It, no, I th it's true to some extent. You know, the uh, cheerleaders uh, are pretty popular and the, you know, they're going to date the football players. But yes, it's, it, it's, it's like it is in the movies. Stephanie says yes, too. So, yes, it's, like, <laughs> it, it's, it's like, it's like what you see in the movies. Mm -hmm. is, is it like that series, 13 Reasons Why? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, but. <laughs> Nowadays, school it, it could be like more like that now with with social media. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure things are. It seems like things are more crazier in school than when I was in school. So mm -hmm. I'm glad I, I'm glad I'm not in school now. <laughs> <laughs> I I heard you say now um, more crazier. Uh, is that common? Like, because uh, isn't it crazier? It's just a grammar question, because <laughs> oh, I heard you question. say more crazier. Cra yeah, crazier, crazier. Yeah, you, I don't know if that's correct English to say crazier. I think so. I think it's correct English. Yeah, because <laughs> because <laughs> many many students they 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 are worried about grammar and you know they are so worried about it. Like, oh my God, I have to speak correctly. If I don't speak yeah. English, you know, in the right way, I don't have to yes. to speak anything. I have to shut my mouth. No, you shouldn't so, worry. You shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry so much because, at the end of the day, uh, it really doesn't it doesn't matter too much. What matters is is that you're practicing your English every day. So yeah. even if it's only for five or ten minutes, you're practicing. It's better than practicing not at all, right? So right. even if we uh, open, you know, juniors class for you know ten minutes a day, it's okay, you know? Um, and you don't be afraid to mispronunciate because it doesn't matter. Most likely, p people will understand you. Right. Right? And, and exactly, Brian. It's true. So you guys, don't be afraid of speaking English. You know, don't be afraid of trying. Don't be afraid of practicing because mistakes, everybody, everybody makes mistakes. And because of them, that you guys are going to learn. So it's necessary. It's part of the process, right? That's uh, right. You can't, you can't learn one language or, you know, something without making mistakes. So don't be afraid of it. And for some of you guys who, who has a person who is always criticizing your English or, you know, saying bad things about your English, tell him or her to go, okay. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Um, Stephanie, uh, there's another question. Uh, good advice, Brian, by the way. Very good advice. You guys should should uh, should listen to Brian. Okay, he's a good <laughs> uh, a good advisor. Yeah, is, yeah, is that is that correct? That. Yeah, yeah, you can okay. say that. Advisor. You see, there are words that I don't even know, <laughs> and I try. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. And you just say it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, do you speak Portuguese or another language? Uh, Erica said. Oh. You, uh, you have already said, right? You know some words in Portuguese? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um pouco Portuguese. Just a little. Uh, uh, Bruno Alves, uh, U.S. is beer or British, British is beer? I don't which, see that question. It's oh, I see. before. Yeah, which beer do you, what, what kind of beer do you prefer or which beer do you prefer? Oh, oh like beer? Like beer to drink? Yeah, beer. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So Are you a beer lover? Uh, I don't really compare, I don't really care for beer too much here in the US. Uh but in in Brazil I I like to drink beer more because mm-hmm. in Brazil it's it's served very cold. Um like ice ice cold in Brazil, but here in the US they don't serve beer very cold here. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? Yeah, I really prefer Brazilian beer. Yeah, it's colder. Really really yeah. really cold. And uh, I, I believe that Brazilians draft beer tastes better. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not a beer fan, but I don't understand so much about beer, but that's my impression. But Stephanie says handsome beer. But oh, yeah. uh, I like, I like uh, Brahma and I like Skoll. I mean, any Brazilian beer is fine with me. It, it, it tastes mm-hmm. good to me because it's served so cold. Mm-hmm. Because it's so cold. But the American burger is definitely the best. Five the guys. Hamburgers? Oh, had five the hamburger, guys. yeah. Yes, American hamburgers is the best. Yeah. Brazil, Brazil has okay, but uh, here the hamburgers are the best. Mm-hmm. I think we, we vent too many, too many things, you know. We, we have mm-hmm. different hamburgers. But the real hamburger is in the U.S. You remember the last time you, we were in uh, Five Guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, we ate so much. Remember the the French fries? The, the French, fries, French fries? Yeah. Fries? yeah. So much. My God. Yeah, we could feed like a family. <laughs> with that. Five Guys. Five Guys is Five Guys is awesome. Yeah. It's one of the best burgers. Well, in U.S., Mac McDonald's, of course, is the biggest in the world. But in U in U.S., you you got do you guys have this kind of thing like, oh, the best is Five Guys or Wendy's or. I mean, yeah. I mean, it depends on what type of burger because there's different levels. So you have like McDonald's and Wendy's. I prefer Wendy's over McDonald's, mm-hmm. and then you have um, you have more like like a higher level of hamburger which is like five guys in and out uh the habit which is something stephanie and i just tried um recently was the habit burger which is really good um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so there's other places that are a little bit higher elevated than just like mcdonald's mm-hmm. so. right okay so uh guys uh more questions okay uh we have more uh, let's see 10 minutes. Okay, Brian, we have more 10 minutes. Sure. Uh, okay. And uh, from food to business, <laughs> 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 I would like to know how, um, how, uh, how an American life is about job. I mean, here in Brazil, most people wake up so early, they take the buses and the you know, subway. They spend over two hours to get to their jobs. They leave at 5 p.m. and they get home around 7 or 8 because the traffic here is crazy. They work a mm-hmm. lot. How is, how is the lifestyle in the U.S., uh, you know, about job? Is that the same thing? I think it depends for each person. But generally, you know, uh, generally people uh, travel, you know, by car here where I live. 
Um, mm-hmm. They travel by car. There's not really uh, public trans- transportation here. So we have a bus system, but um, it's not very efficient. It's not very good. Um, we have a train, but it doesn't uh, service a very large area. Where in Sao mm-hmm. Paulo, you have many um, lines, options. yellow line, red line options. Yeah. Um, if you're in New York, it's different because it's like Sao Paulo. <laughs> For public transportation, but I think in like, for me, I only for me, I only take ten minutes to get to work. So I have oh, I drive dream. short. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have to spend much time in the car. But but other people at work that I work with, some people uh, drive forty five minutes to get to work. So it just depends uh, where you live and how the traffic is, and that's mm-hmm. that's it. Um, so it could be like Brazil, but like, you know, it just depends. Right. And Orlando is a city that most of people, they, they travel, they, they drive to everywhere, right? Like you said, the public transportation is not so, so good. Okay, and it's yeah. easy to drive in Orlando, right? Yeah, it's, it's easy. It's not like uh, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo driving is is crazy. I've never driven in Sao Paulo, and I don't want to drive in Sao Paulo. Would you like to? I would not like to, no. Okay. <laughs> no, don't do it. Because you're going to face... Why, that's, ex- why I have, that's why I have you. You can drive me. Okay. <laughs> I'm Brian's driver here in Brazil. <laughs> because you're going to... You, you, you would face the... Motor boys, <laughs> the guys, the <laughs> motorcycle guys, you know, <laughs> yeah, which is not good. But I um, like. Do you remember how we drive here and the guys driving their motorcycles in yeah. the middle of the cars? And yeah. it's crazy and dangerous, right? Very yeah. dangerous. That is not allowed. <laughs> That's not. It's against the law here to drive like that. So, uh, a, a mo- moto boys can't drive between the cars. They have to stay. Mm-hmm. You know in the lane they can't go behind cars it's against the law here too let me tell you <laughs> but you know we are in brazil so <laughs> you know right there was a very good question here uh let me see oh about Mr. Trump, <laughs> if Mr. Trump, Donald Trump is a good president, <laughs> let's talk about polit- polit- politicians. <laughs> it, uh, uh, it, what, what do you think about Donald Trump? Uh, well, if he's a good politician, that would depend on who you ask. On who you ask. Mm. Some, some people might okay, say... Let's start, start with good things. If there's any. I can't, think, I can't think of one. <laughs> the, the economy is the economy better with Donald Trump? Oh well, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I don't know if it's because of Donald Trump. Uh, I don't think it is because it's his only his first year. Mm-hmm. But right, right, right now the economy is definitely in a better place than it was, you know, two, three years ago. So it's improved. I don't think it's necessarily. Donald Trump. Um, All right. And uh, one bad thing about him, this thing of oh, people say, oh, he's homophobic. Him? He's Yeah, he doesn't oh, like no. women. He's. I mean, I don't even know if Donald Trump is really homophobic. I, I wouldn't even, I, I can't speak on that because um, he might not even be. I think a lot of what he does is he, he says certain things to get a reaction out of certain people so he mm-hmm. might not even be a true you know homophobic and you know i can't speak on that what i do what i would say is he um he doesn't speak very well or in in a polite manner sometimes and and that's something that to me is a negative i think that the way he addresses people should be different so but that's all i'll say about that right right i agree with you because he represents one of the most important na- nations of the world. So, you know, it's, it should be more polite or improve the way he, he speaks, right? His speech, mm-hmm. he communicates, right? Right. But y- y- do you guys in the U.S. have this idea, like the, the USA is one of the most or the most important country in the world 
uh, do, you, do you guys have this idea or uh, like how important English is in the world? Do you guys have this I, idea or not? I think that we do to a certain extent. I think that I, I have a better understanding having lived in Brazil, how uh, much people look to the U.S. Um, mm -hmm. But I think in, in overall, I think we, um, we're, we sometimes can feel like that we're superior um, or that we're important, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think that the living abroad, I see it with my own eyes, like how people react to U.S. and what's going on. So uh, yeah. I, I think that we might think that, but there might be some truth to it because, you know, people give the U.S. a lot of, a lot of power. Right. Yes. Uh, one of the Brazilian dreams, or well, most of Brazilian people, they would like to live in the U.S. People who, you know, uh, work a lot or are not happy with our country, one of their options, uh, the first option actually is moving to the U.S., but the bureaucracy is, is crazy and it's not possible for some of Brazilian people. And... Uh, it's one of my dreams too. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> yeah. It's my it's my so, dream for you too. Yeah, man. I would like to be Brian's neighbor. Okay, learners. <laughs> I'd like to be Brian's neighbor. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah, it's about to happen soon. Let's <laughs> work and pray for it. <laughs> uh well, uh Brian, let's uh do you have any message, a final message to our learners here? Feel free to, no. to talk and yeah. no learners uh, practice, practice your English and um, make sure you click the link in Junior's bio and uh, it'll take you over to the English course, right, Ju? <laughs> he, he, didn't, he didn't even tell me to say that, but I'll say that. <laughs> mainly, mainly because my voice is in the class, so you should buy. Yeah, <laughs> my voice is in the course. <laughs> All right. So, Brian, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. It was a pleasure to have you here. I'm sure that our learners here, they could, uh, you know, feel motivated to, to learn English, to study with me or whatever they want to. But the most important is, is this, you know, to have a native speaker talking to us and mm -hmm. show that, showing them uh, another side of English, another... Yeah. You know, because people they yeah, just think, oh, I learned English to to watch videos and listen to songs, but there's another things. Sure, yeah, you, you just have to keep listening to it. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, but we should we can do it again. Maybe we can do this again, mm -hmm. and maybe we can um, in the future. We'll maybe we'll have like certain topics that we oh yeah uh, can talk about maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. Right, that's a good idea. So it, yeah, so today we were same. talking about many things. Yeah, so it's not the same every time. We can talk about something different each time. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. You guys can, can send us, leave here a suggestion, you know, any suggestion uh, of a topic that we, we could dis discuss. You know? So feel free to, to leave a comment here, okay? So, Brian, thank you very much. I loved. Yes, thank you. And I hope everyone has a, a good night. Ciao e buona noite. <laughs> well, uh, Janalini is Bye, here saying bro. goodbye to you. <laughs> wow. Well, Bye, Brian. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye -bye. Okay, learners, estamos aqui. Espero que vocês tenham gostado da conversa que eu tive com o Brian, os meus grandes amigos aí americanos, né, que mora nos Estados Unidos. Ele gentilmente veio conversar aqui com a gente, a gente bateu um papo sobre a vida nos Estados Unidos, né? algumas curiosidades, impressões que ele tem do Brasil, ele já morou aqui no país durante um ano, né? então ele conhece muitas partes aqui de São Paulo, já foi para o Rio, visitou outras, outras cidades, então uh, eu acho que uh, é uma das vantagens, né? um dos benefícios que, que você pode ter, as pessoas que falam inglês conseguem ter, né? fazer amigos por volta do globo, o mundo realmente fica pequeno, né? Para quem consegue se comunicar em inglês. E temos aí agora uma amizade de 10 anos, né? 
O Ryan, ele, inclusive, participa do meu curso online, ele faz o, o, a, a voz né, de um dos personagens, que a gente teve a certeza de ter esse cuidado de trazer americanos né, para poder fazer o listening, para vocês realmente terem um áudio de qualidade o mais próximo possível dos americanos, é, com expressões, gírias, palavras que eles realmente usam né, no dia a dia deles para deixar o aprendizado mais completo. Então, uh, para quem não entendeu nada da conversa, não se preocupe. É, que sirva de motivação né, para você iniciar os seus estudos comigo ou com qualquer outra pessoa, qualquer outro lugar, é importante que você inicie os estudos. Tá? Quem aí entendeu 50% da conversa, 80%, tudo bem. O importante é entender, praticar, é, entender alguma coisa, continuar praticando e não desistir. Beleza? Eu espero que você tenha aprendido palavras novas, que você tenha se divertido você tenha se inspirado e se motivado né, a aprender essa língua e ver que os benefícios de falar inglês tá, não é somente assistir filmes e séries, né, ou você jogar um videogame, se divertir, mas também fazer amigos ao redor do mundo e conseguir outras oportunidades e ter acesso né, a culturas, a, a situações diferentes, ter acesso a coisas que você jamais pensou que poderia pensar em ter se você né, falasse inglês. Então, uh, claro, né, meu inglês não é aquela coisa de, meu Deus, como ele é um nativo, todo mundo comete erros, né, todo mundo comete alguns deslizes, isso é absolutamente normal, mas vocês percebam que o importante é se comunicar e não tenham medo de falar inglês, não tenham medo de se expor sempre para frente, beleza? Não, não deixem criticar o seu inglês, continuem aí para cima, praticando, estudando, porque um dia você chega lá, ok? Então, muito obrigado pela presença de vocês. Uh, eu vou deixar o link lá no meu perfil ou tá aqui no meu stories do meu curso para vocês conferirem o vídeo de apresentação, ver a, a, os principais pontos do curso e fiquem à vontade para estudar comigo ou não, continuamos, continuamos amigos, ok? So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching e lembrem-se todos, see you around. Bye. Good night. Muito obrigado, pessoal. Muito obrigado a todos que estiveram aqui. Estou só vendo aqui um, alguns comentários antes de fechar o vídeo, tá bom? Muito obrigado. Tchau, tchau. Thank you, Neil, Geisa, Patrícia, uh, Brian, thank you. Sigam o Brian, ok? Tá aqui, ó, o Brian.c2f, uh, ok? Sigam ele para aprender mais inglês, trocar ideia em inglês com ele. Podem seguir, ok? Uh, Geisa, quando eu crescer, vou falar assim, <risos> amazing, Edvan. Junior, uh, quando, fala, quando faremos esse tipo de conversação? Quando você quiser, Pedro. <risos> Vou chamar você no próximo, na próxima live, hein? Muito bem, Cássio. Muito boa iniciativa. Obrigado, Cássio. Valeu. Uh, Junior, faço seu curso há alguns meses e é fantástico observar meu avanço. Ótima metodologia mesmo. Muito obrigado, Djalma Luz. Muito obrigado, Djalma. Muito obrigado. Que bom que você está gostando do curso. Para isso que a gente trabalha. A gente trabalha muito para fazer o melhor para vocês. Iniciei o curso hoje. Espero avançar bastante. Angel, Angel Godoy. Boa, boa. Seja bem-vindo. Espero que você aprenda muito, Angel. Uh, valeu, teacher. Valeu, pessoal. Mônica, você é ótimo. Muito obrigado. Patrícia, see you around. Obrigado. Uh, you're welcome in, to come in London. Patricia, ok. I'm going to London. I want to see you. Great. Have good dreams. Bias e para, Paradise. Jesus, eu acerto a full time. <risos> Legal. Obrigado. Obrigado, pessoal. Tenham todos uma boa noite. Have a good...